Hello all. Um, just wanting to finish off this video before I forget. Um, I've been doing some testing on myself for the last while. Um, I already explained a little bit of this in my video, A Look Into the Psychic Update. And um, one, two of my very early videos were uh, my retropsychokinesis results. So type in retropsychokinesis to find the video. And the Underwear Magician ESP test, uh, both of which I used a closed uh, deck trying to guess red or black on a... Um, on a uh, uh, on a deck of playing cards, uh, retro psychokinesis, where I got um, some tentative results for, um, uh, where I got some significant results on uh, one or two runs for, you know, trying to influence radioactive decay backwards in time, and the one where I discuss about trying to use an open, uh, an open blind telepathy format uh, with 25 cards per run, on the um, advanced ESP test at uh, psychicscience.com, and how I got statistically significant results on telepathy when believers were uh, viewing, but not when skeptics were. And I'm currently got an updated protocol. I'm trying to get tested on that for replication. Anyway, um, the right hand side here is my more recent results I've done under the username Ezekiel Uthuriel Chaya, um, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I basically did that. Uh, these were all um, basically. If you just click that link, um, those were my results with the. Um, uh, you know, using a, a number of tests, and basically I'm currently at 2.91 standard deviations, um, which you can either type in for one uh, tail probability at um, at the Fermilab. You can also uh, you, um, check uh, using the Psytest Significance Calculator at PsychicScience.com uh, if you need uh, the emails on that um, or how to use that. Just uh, ask me for ask me for help or watch the uh, video, the online uh, the Wonder Underwear Magician online ESP test. Uh, sorry, no, Underwear Magician uh, ESP test, uh, just to uh, see how the calculator works. Um, if not, um, if you really need, uh, if you also have any debates or questions about it, um, just ask me. I've got a whole bunch of messages from a fellow skeptic who I was talking to, uh, to, to a skeptic I was talking to about this. Um, in case you have any questions, I can easily forward it to you. Um, or I could just re-explain it again. Um, but you can also confirm it with VassarStats.com. So again, that is statistically significant. That it would be that is the replication of the video for retropsychokinesis. I also have uh, email sent to myself of a closed uh, of a sorry of an open deck uh, clairvoyance measure. Like it was like the telepathy test, except it was six thousand trials and it was set on clairvoyance run. So uh, with blind, um, sorry, with you know with blind and uh, and open. So basically, it's completely random um, selections. I got odds of one in seventeen thousand forty five on that, and. Um, uh, for the, uh, I've also done a replication with the closed deck one, you know, replication of the online magician ESP, uh, sorry, the underwear magician ESP test uh, video, um, with 572 trials, 316 hits, with odds of one in 72 uh, of this happening by chance. That was using a closed deck cycle. Uh, anyway, basically the bottom line is that with all my testing right now, I have gotten statistically significant results on all of them. And the thing is that um, the reason I started testing this was the, um, or started testing on all of this, was the original claim that somebody made that James Randi uh, had psychic powers and, uh, or, or like Chris Angel does and stuff like that, and just simply uh, claims that he's working purely by magic. Um, some other comments have been that possibly Michael Shermer, when he did his spoon bending, was not using adrenaline but using some other unknown power. Now, again, a lot of people generally disregard this argument, but I wanted to put it to the test just to see if there might actually be a psychic element to uh, even the strongest of us magicians, uh, or to even some of us skeptics. So, again, I have gotten statistically res significant results. The bulk of the, um, uh, like I said, the uh, practically all the artifacts on these ones have been controlled for. So, um, unless there's some un unknown artifact, I might say that it's possible. Again, that's the reason I'm um, saying more likely than not is ESP test. Uh, how uh, ESP or, or retropsychokinesis or one of these others. However, note note that I still say that it is necessary uh, for further replication before further was known. Okay, and I'm just simply saying I consider it interesting. According to the date, uh, like I said, I have highly significant data. I don't know if it's ESP or not. I just think that it's worth further study. So that having been said, I'm willing to entertain the hypothesis that I have ESP. And before anybody starts jumping down my back about being, oh, I've betrayed skeptics or I should go to the $1 million challenge, see my previous videos about why the $1 million challenge is flawed right now. And if anybody I would rather get tested by, it's Michael Shermer or Ray Hyman, two of the, be uh, two of the most critically thinking and best testing skeptics out there. Anyway, that having been said... Um, I'm willing, like I said, I'm willing to let it wait. Um, I've already given a, I've already emailed Michael Shermer a protocol for testing me for telepathy. He said he can't handle it. He couldn't do it at that time because he was busy trying to deal with evolution and economic theory for his, uh, uh, for his work with um, uh, Scientific American magazine. But as soon as he had a free moment, um, he might be willing to get back to me on that. So that's still in the waiting. So like I said, just before, you know, I'm still in the process of getting stuff ready to be tested again um, by independence and by skeptics. So just so you know, okay. That having been said, um, I hope 
uh, I hope you enjoy. Like I said, there's the videos there. If you want, uh, if you'd like my other stats, just message me with your email address, and I'll email you. The, I'll forward you the emails I sent to myself with this, um, just to save me time and trouble. And other than that, I, like I said, I hope you. Um, I hope it uh, turns out. I hope you enjoy. Um, free for debate. Uh, please do try to actually be critically thinking about this. I don't need a lot of, uh, you know, um, of ad hominems or other stuff like that pertaining to this. So yeah, thanks a bunch. That's my psi stats, uh, or that's my stats on the psi testing. Um, I may be psychic. I might not be. I'm willing to entertain the hypothesis that I might be more psychic. Um, but even if I was, um, the accuracy levels are only like 22% or something like that, even on the uh, clairvoyance runs, or even like only like 50.4% uh, with influence on this retropsychokinesis stuff. So, um, 0.0, you know, 50.04%. You know, so the thing is that you know, even though the um, even though the calculation, uh, even though the um, the uh, the st you know statistically significant, um, you know the variations are so minute from chance that it's not really much of an effect anyway. It would just be like a little oddity. Still, it's just a, a thing to bear in mind. So that having been said, I hope you enjoy. Uh, well, I hope you enjoy looking at the stats and double checking my work. And um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment. Again, as I said, please no ad hominem attacks or critical thinking fallacies. Do try to keep your uh, if you're presenting an argument either for or, for or against. Uh, the, each one of these being psychic, do treat, uh, please try to present as much reasoning as you can in your argument, and then we can go from there. Thanks. Toodles.